so uh, the name comes from about 92% of interest agents fail okay. in the first three years. Eight so percent succeed. And so that was, I was sitting at 10X2 in Vegas. Grant, 10X2. Grant, yep. Grant Cardone's conference. Yep, yep, yep. Sitting yep. front row because I bought the house several months, several months before. I spent 15 grand on two tickets to go to that. You know, yep. I started. For sure. Once I started spending more money, I just kept spending it. Yep. And that, I, I, I built some powerful relationships. I picked up some immense, massive nuggets and instantly started scaling our business. And that was a few years ago. And. I left there saying, you know what? I need to do something like this for the insurance industry. I haven't found a conference in our industry that doesn't have more than a couple hundred people at it. Right. That that isn't based on, hey, I'm going to recruit you, or hey, I'm a carrier, or hey, we're only going to talk about a certain product. Like, I can't think of one that is all-encompassing, that is not a part of an IMO or a carrier. So I'm like, okay, let's do this. And so... Um, I thought about it for a few months. Should have pulled the trigger sooner. Yep. Because time kills all deals. In this case, it didn't totally kill it. Sure. And I was talking to my dad in the pool uh, on uh, Memorial Day. That's 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 in. I think that's in, yeah. That's the one in May. I always get Memorial Day and Labor Day confused. Yes, you're not the only one. Yeah. Memorial Day, and we're sitting in a pool at a at a country club, and I'm like, you know what? Uh, he's like, we're talking about conferences, and he's like, man, you ought to throw a conference. You know, he, that's just how he is. He's like, sure. You ought to do this. You know. Uh, like kind of like what he said when he said you ought to make 100k your first year yep and i'm like you know what i've been thinking about doing that you're right i'm gonna pull the trigger and do it okay so made the decision no clue what i was doing never even planned a birthday party before and there was a few reasons why number one i've found that when i get around successful people like you guys i it, i pick up my game it motivates of me of course like 100 one of my uh, coach burke talks about prey drive one of my activators of my prey drive is getting around influential people Yep. And it just makes me think bigger, makes me do more. But also I, I'm realizing over the last several years how powerful relationships can be, right? So I came out here. We didn't know where this was going to go. Sure, 100%. We still don't. Right. But who cares, yeah. right? Yeah. We're, we're having fun. We're getting to know each other. And, and, and there's something's going to come out of it. It always does. And so I'm realizing that relationships are key. Most people are in our industry are failing. A lot of people have online relationships. They don't have offline relationships. Right. Um, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not ashamed to say it. We want to get attention for what we're doing in our industry. You know, of course you do. Um, I, I truly believe that, uh, like, a, a passion of mine, a goal of mine is, you know, it, 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 when I pass away, when they think of the word insurance, they think of me. Sure. You know, I'm not ashamed to say it. Um, and so the conference felt like the next move to really get everyone together and to really bring value to an industry where most people fail, but there's more millionaires in any other industry in the world. And, and it's tough. And, and, but I've learned that when I get around powerful people like yourself and I spend time with someone and I pick up some nuggets and learn that it helps all parts of my life. Uh, July 24th and 25th of 2020 in Vegas at the Palms. We rented out the Pearl Theater. There we go. Uh, seats over 2,000. Okay. Uh, we have our main speaker, which we can release now because this, this probably won't release this week anyway, is uh, Jordan Belfort. Okay. The Wolf of Wall yeah, Street. Yeah, yeah. Big name. Awesome, awesome. Uh, Going to be a big speaker. Uh, we have tickets anywhere from 97 bucks. You know, I, I don't want to ever have someone that can't go because of money. Like, heck, I'll give you a ticket. I don't care. Like, you just need to be there. Mm-hmm. Uh, it ain't about sell, ticket sales for me. 97 bucks uh, in, in as much as 10 grand, you know, to have the full experience. Right. Okay. And what would that look like, the full experience? Yeah, you'd actually be sitting down and have an exclusive dinner with 15 other people with Jordan Belfort. Okay. You'd be sitting front row. You'd have cool. access backstage, pictures with whoever you wanted, three separate exclusive mastermind networking events. Perfect. I mean, the, the, you're going to actually have a waiter or a waitress wait on you during the event. Like, the freaking works. Cool. Cool. Yeah. It's our Cody Askins brand. So okay. I've, I've, we've got um, 8% Nation, Cody Askins, Secure Agent Leads, and Secure Agent Marketing. And I, so for instance, we're going, we're flying to New York probably next month to, to train a team and spend a couple of days with a team. Um, I've got some okay. things, some things that teams can do to uh, really activate the prey drive and the enthusiasm in their people mm-hmm. and to get them trained every single day. And this company's wanting to double their production and there's no doubt we can do it. Um, but yeah, I mean, so it comes from the Cody Askins brand. It, it's, uh, I've got, we got another gentleman that just, just bought six sessions, uh, at, th- at that point, it was thirty six hundred dollars. Um, it'll probably always go up, um, but it was six sessions, thirty six hundred bucks. And it was uh, he wants me to help his appointment setter because he, he's not getting as many appointments as he should. So, what's that look like? So you're gonna fly up there to meet with them one on one? That that'll be a, that'll be a video. It'll be okay. a Zoom video. Yeah. Okay. So the New York one, we're actually going to New York, um, and I'm gonna do some sessions with the owner. But the appointment setter, I'm actually meeting with the appointment setter, Zoom video. 
Um, I'm gonna do some fact finding, getting to know him as an individual. You know, where his mm-hmm. habits come mm-hmm. from, uh, what he's doing before he gets on calls. Because I don't think you just pick up the phone and jump on the phone. I think you should like, you know, role play and prepare right. and do some right. freaking jumping jacks and run around the building or something. You know, it, it, it's it's just easier to pick up the phone when you do that. Sure. Um, same thing when I, when I speak or do podcasts yeah. and stuff. Like I was I was out there jumping up and down the hallway before I came out and mic'd up. You know, nobody saw that, but uh, Andy probably get yourself in that it. state. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tony Robbins talks about having an anchor. You know, having a place where you go, that place where you feel the highest or you feel, the, yes. you know, like having a safe place. And then, you know, you yes. can just be the way One that you My favorite things to do to pump up is like, I lift my hands up. This is a power position when you lift your hands mm. up above your head. So, you know, you look good when nervous, you do that. Do that. That's okay. good. Good. That's good. So man. we'll know when you're nervous. That's yeah. good. Huh? Do you do that when you're on a roller coaster as well? Yep. Must be because you're nervous. Exactly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's good. Uh, I mean, and also we're going to go over some sales tips, some yep. phone tips, overcoming objections. What are his bad habits? What are his good habits? Uh, we're going to listen to some recordings. We're going to break down calls. I'm going to play some of my recordings. I mean, well, I, 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 do, I do live video dials and stuff on the phone, but I've made a lot of dials mm-hmm. over my career and I can help people be better on the phone. Right. Drives me and my passion, my ambition. If, if I, when I do a disc assessment, I'm a high D or a predictive index, you know, I'm, I'm high on ambition. Um, I would say that it's, it's because I feel like I can help insurance agents succeed most insurance, which is why eight, that's where 8% nation comes from. About 92% of insurance agents fell in the first three years and, and it's just way too high. And, and I believe uh, because I was a new insurance agent that was successful not too long ago, uh, I believe I can. I got a message I can bring and I can help some people. In closing, I would say, you know what? I personally believe that every single person on the planet Earth was meant to do something great. Uh, Steve Harvey talks about how he believes everyone has a talent. Yep. Some of us don't know what, what it is yet. Yep. But I believe that anyone can do anything in life. I believe it's just a decision. And if you're out there watching and you're like, hey, I'm ready to shake some things up, you know, um, just to figure out what you want make a decision to go do it. And then the only thing left to do after that is to simply execute on yep. what you want to do. You know, I mean, dude, I, I think dude, we'll have a hundred million dollar company. We'll be doing $12 million in house with an inside sales team. I'll own a jet in the next few years. I mean, I'm just making those decisions. Yes. Yes. You know, it's funny. I saw you put a post out a couple months ago that you're going to get a private jet. You put that on your yeah. post yeah. as a goal. So people, you get to ride around with me when I do. Well, it's funny that you say that because it's probably my plane you're on, but anyway, oh, you can beat me too. I like this. I like this. <laughs> so funny story. I'll, I'll share this with you. I was a new agent not too long ago. I started as an intern calling out a phone book before I knew you're not even really supposed to be doing that. I feel like I get and understand new struggling insurance agents. Most people in our business are not the dude making seven figures, rolling in it and traveling the world. Yep. Most of the people in our industry are struggling. Some even have part-time jobs. I want to be the guy that they can go to to, to really learn some knowledge and, and really help them. I was very fortunate to earn $117,361.13 in my first eight months. And I thought, if I can do that, working for one company, selling one product, I can probably help some other people too. What is up? Welcome to Phone Phenom. Hey, if you love this video and maybe you want to gain clients from home in your freaking pajamas, then you'll love this video, Top Ways to Sell Life Insurance 100% from Home. Click on it and I'll see you there. Was it was it just the guy said, I don't want you to come to my house and you sold it and you're like, maybe I can do this again. That's exactly it. I just didn't like it. And so once I just, you know, once that happened, I was like, see ya, I'm done. Like I left.